everyone. Welcome back. I am John Hallett, and this is the John Hallett Podcast. Today, we're talking about the top 10 or my favorite workout songs. This Quick show note. This episode includes a contest that we decided to do at the very end. Don't just cheat. I strongly recommend you listen to this episode. There is a hint to the number one song in here that was unintentional as I was going through the different songs. So first person to guess my number one song will win a t-shirt from the RMSDF store or the Clear Sky hyphen online store. You're going to need to listen to the whole episode and follow the contest rules of where to send those guesses. Do not tell me in person. I was promoing this uh, episode to my 530 fit class and they all wanted to start to guess then and there. You're disqualified and slash I'm not going to tell you. Um, We want to make it fair to everybody listening to this. So once this episode goes out, then you can make the guess. All right, on with the show, guys. It was tough, kind of brought me back to the days of doing uh, mixtapes way back in the day. Actually, we were talking about that at 5.30 a.m. Project Fit class the other day. Susie was talking about it, um, brought me back. I was also making this uh, list for this podcast. She was saying, you always knew a boy liked you um, if he made a mixtape for you. Um, And if you never made a mixtape before, Way back when, in the 80s, uh, even in the 90s, you were listening to um, the FM radio with your boom box with a cassette recorder on there waiting for that song to come on the radio or calling the DJ and requesting a song and then waiting beside it. And it was always such a letdown when you uh, missed the first uh, couple seconds of that song. Or uh, for me, I was on Nantucket Island, we'd also get a lot of static from the Cape Cod radio station sometimes. It'd be really tough to tune them in. And that was always a bummer when that song came on. You were trying to record and you got some static in there and trying to um, trade mix tapes with friends and get those songs. So that brings me back because doing it on Spotify is a ton easier and even just those recommendations. So This is a top 10, but I've got 34 songs on there that I kind of stopped and felt that was enough. I'm sure I could add 50 on here to make a top 50, but 34 seemed good enough for this podcast. It is great. Um, Workout music is always different for everybody. Again, this is my favorite stuff. You know, maybe we'll bring on Jenny and have her do her top 10 because I know her songs are different uh, a lot of the times or very similar in some instances um we actually did this driving around or we uh, started the list driving around um last saturday and i was like ready to work out um the time we got done um with i think we only had like 10 songs that first day or so so what's your favorite music would love to hear from you or put a your favorite top 10 list on there we can add it here at the gym to one of the playlists in there and as always it cannot be lame and mellow it is not a stretching mix julie Um, it's got to get something to get you going get the blood flowing right get you ready to work out you're not often um, ready to work out i think that's what's great about music you know you're on the way to the gym you're not quite ready you know throwing on a, a good mix to get you in the mood and get that mindset right that all right i'm gonna go after this workout i'm gonna try hard music can always set you up there and can also bring you down i know we try to mix it up a lot with uh, different mixes and that people will play so and then when a lame song comes on there i know that can aggravate a lot of people and just won't kind of ruin the tempo of your workout one other thing um, i was thinking of for this podcast is the top 10 dumb exercises. Um, but the more I thought of it, the uh, more I thought there's really no dumb exercise. It's really just people doing them dumb or some of the stuff you see on the internet these days that quote influencers, I feel like just making shit up. Some of it's extremely impressive uh, physical feats of strength and just choreographed stuff. You name it. You guys have seen it out there. Um, but a lot of that stuff drives me nuts because I mean it's not so practical and they're just kind of doing things to get people to look at them. Um, I think the staple 
exercises are always great. That's the foundation is where you should start off. And stuff you should always be working on as an advanced athlete is the basics. You know, I'm talking push-ups or bench, you know, squats and air squats, jumping squats, your deadlift, you know, hitting that core stuff, your pull-ups, your ring rows, all that core things are just so great. Um, it's kind of endless there. I don't get bored working out, so to speak, but a lot of times just people, you know, doing something new keeps them engaged. And, you know, we try to do that here at RMSDF, but you know, you got to work those basics, got to work those basics. And I feel like those people on the internet are just trying to get people to look at them and then they're trying to copy them. And I, gosh, it's hard enough. I hear plenty of stories from my kids, um, from the big box gyms of people doing silly stuff. And that's what you get when you come to a gym like us at RMSDF or any other real small gym that you get that coach helping you out. And I know a lot of people feel like they don't know what they're doing walking around a big gym. You know, they can put people on the TV advertisements, but you don't know what routine to do. And you're just not motivated to work out. And that's a benefit of doing like a Project Fit class here in RMSDF. We're going to help you get motivated. We're going to do the workout for you. And I know sometimes I don't feel like doing the workout. Um, and by me planning a month ahead, uh, I have to do it. You know, you're like, all right, there's today's workout. Didn't quite feel like it, not motivated. And doing things you don't like makes you better. It goes back to the comfort crisis. We've been saying it for years here. You know, do things in your workout program that you don't like. You're always doing the same thing. Chances are you're not well rounded, you're missing a component of fitness by just always doing your favorite things. So mix it up, mix it up. Um, other thing I wanted to mention before we get going, Prestige Labs, I know a ton of you guys do supplements out there. Really strongly encourage you to check them out. Their protein is fantastic. And I have seen a big benefit of doing their test boost, their multivitamin, their EHF, uh, or whoops, I messed that one up, their hormone optimizer. Um, it is fantastic. They've got a great sleep aid. Uh, some of the coaches use the AM and PM burn here and gotten good results with that stuff. So I'd strongly encourage you to check that stuff out. It will make a difference. And a lot of you guys are supplementing with something, multivitamin. If you're not, you probably should be doing at least a daily multi multivitamin. That'll help you out because it is really hard to get everything you need through just your common meals that we're eating every day. So. All right, let's dive into this. I'm gonna throw on the headset and I strongly encourage you guys to check out that link to the Spotify list. We can't play it here, so we're not getting uh, dinged with copyright stuff on YouTube or anywhere else out there. I wish I could play it. I'm gonna play it on the headset for myself just to kind of remind me of each one. We're gonna blast through the top. Um, we're starting at 35. We're gonna blast our way up as quick as I can to number 10. Number 34 on my list is Metallica 1. It is the remastered version I'm listening to here, but fantastic. It is number 34 on this list only because it kind of starts off slow. It isn't that fast to start, but it's a great lifting song. I love lifting to this one. It does start off kind of slow if you're doing any type of AMRAP, but there's just something about it that uh, sparks something inside of me that wants to get after it. So one by Metallica is number 34. Number 33 is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Jamie just came into the office trying to be super quiet. Hey, Jamie. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? You have a good class? Yeah. I'm good. So number 34, Sweet Child of Mine. Great song. Another good lifting one. I really like how the guitar starts off and this one always kind of sets my mind ready to work out. Great song, classic. I remember uh, one Guns N' Roses when this album was released and uh, my friend Neil Sullivan and Pete Hedden, um, well, I think it was Neil that had this, um, he had, uh, his mom lived off the island, um, I believe, and his dad lived on the island, divorced parents, and he had brought that um, record over or that cassette over. Um, and remember the first time hearing Guns N' Roses um, with Pete and Neil, um, 
kind of music that changed your life or shapes your life you never kind of forget number 32 is rocky like a hurricane by the scorpions great classic song there really starts off great get you hyped ready to work out number 31 another great song i got this album twisted sister we're not gonna take it i think i was in the fifth grade i think maybe the sixth grade but i remember the first time i got this one i just had my <laughs> headset on probably about the size of this giant thing here probably bigger um and my uh, cassette um walkman walking around um, we're not gonna take it um great song number 30 is beastie boys fight for your right another great song starts off great really good one beastie boys it's a great album number 29 is bark at the moon by ozzy osbourne fantastic song love that one really tough trying to put some of these into a list here and figuring out which one would go where i kind of went from the top down and when i'm listening to a mix that i'm going to do for working out i always just kind of skip 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 and just listen to the first five or ten seconds and how it starts off uh, bark at the moon by ozzy number 28 is wait and bleed by slipknot really good song number 27 is chop suey and then if you're listening and you can click on that really quick depending on how you're listening to this you can always bring it up on your desktop don't be doing it driving but fantastic good system uh, good system of the down song probably my favorite from them this one was tough I'm um, Pantera Cowboys from Hell uh, fantastic song I love the way this one starts off but it is number 26 great song um, struggled with this one number 25 is hell's bells listen to this album a ton lifting weights uh, in the old football weight room on nantucket we used to kind of wore out this cassette i'm sure i think we had it designated somebody left the cassette there because that was pretty much all we had back then hell's bells fantastic song to start off a little slow but those bells there's something about the intro to this song that's great gets you ready to go number 24 is last resort by papa roach great song i can't say how many crossfit and krav maga mixes out there that that song's on a really good one um this song number 23 evanescence bring me to life Starts off kind of slow, that's why it's not in the top 10, but I definitely like this song. But takes a second to get going. But once it does, fantastic song. We've got the Beastie Boys, again, Sabotage. Good song. Really like that one. Remember when that album came out, like I know most of you can, but starts off great, really gets you going. number 21 is black betty my wife likes this song i forgot what mix we have on there really good song good one a little bit different for some of the stuff on there but kind of classic really starts off great though good guitar good beat great for lifting gets you going for crab my guy like hitting the heavy bag to that song Number 20 is Till I Collapse, Eminem and Nate Dogg is the one I've got on my mix from the album The Eminem Show. Good song, starts off a little slow, but great song. It's got some great lines in there. Gotta find that inner strength, great line there. This uh, may surprise a lot of you. I'm um, a classic song. So many people know this song and have it on different mixes. It is Eye of the Tiger. Fantastic song. I love the beginning of this song. It is number 19 on my list, just cause I think it gets a little flat midway through. Starts off great, but then kind of dies out, but it is a definitely a classic. Um, I had it originally in my top 10 
but I moved it out just because it does get a little slow in the end there, but fantastic beginning to Eye of the Tiger. Number 18 is Thunderkiss 65 by White Zombie. Fantastic song. Love the intro to this song. It is great. Uh, too bad it doesn't say what year it came out. I remember this one. Um, early uh, days of Krav Maga, um, having that, this on a lot of mixes and kind of queuing it up when we wanted to get that class getting going for a particular drill. Good one. Number 17 is Walk by Pantera. Really like this song. Uh, originally had it up a little bit higher, but moved it down for some other ones. Great intro, fantastic song. Number 16, a lot of people will have flashbacks of the Thunderstruck Burpee or Sprawl workout. Number 16 is Thunderstruck by ACDC classic song another great lifting song but I like this one to hit the heavy bag I don't mind if it comes on during a project fit workout maybe not as high tempo or as many beats per minute as some workout songs out there but a lot of times it's uh, all about the guitar for me great song Thunderstruck number 15 this is a tough one I love this song and sorry, the computer's going a little slow today on scrolling as soon as I started hitting uh, record here on Spotify slash probably our Xfinity internet on if this is the first song from the, these guys, but it is Fuel by Metallica. Fantastic song. Metallica will come back on there, but struggled with that one being higher up but I moved it down for some other songs Black Sabbath classic Ozzy Osbourne gotta love Ozzy Paranoid by Black Sabbath that is on there and sorry this thing my computer is still being really weird for some reason as soon as I start recording this podcast so yeah Paranoid is number 14 and then the Dropkick Murphys Love this song. Actually, it was just cutting. It's on uh, a mix, um, Jock Jams, that I listen to on Spotify working out. Uh, it's a good one. And again, wow, I cannot scroll for the life of me today. Um, Shipping Up to Boston is number 13 by Dropkick Murphys. Lincoln Park is number 12 in the end. Number 11 is No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Fantastic song. Gotta love the BC Boys. They're on here a couple team. Great song. Good guitar. And I was just telling my wife I wish I uh, could sing, um, but I forget <laughs> what. Uh, I think it was uh, Kansas City were singing something at the end of their, uh, or it was Philadelphia. I can't remember who they were singing uh, on the. And if, uh, AFC uh, or NFC trophy um, and my wife said well I do think you can sing better than that guy um, maybe but I'm not going to do it on the podcast unless you guys pay me get 10 subscriptions to Prestige Labs and I will sing uh, a song on here that Jamie requests um, but she likes a lot of country so it might not be that it might be easier for me to sing than uh, something like the Beastie Boys, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Don't laugh at me, Jamie. I'm not. <laughs> You're not? You can laugh at me. It's okay. I can't sing. Um, I really wish I could sing. Um, I love music. Um, and, you know, I was thinking of doing, I was going to do a bonus one on here, some of my favorite songs um, that I just, you know, hang out to or cruise around back and forth to work or just hanging out, sipping bourbon, as I think what I was going to call it. And you guys should always be drinking responsibly. Um, in there always really try to limit that again Andrew Huberman he'll give you all the science on that really you can't out train a bad diet and as much as some of you uh, those especially if you're a daily drinker that's a really bad path you're going down um, the science is there really try to limit that really moderate yourself but that's like everything else you know moderate yourself to me um, listen to me once a week that's it <laughs> um, 
podcast comes out every Thursday, and we might release this one a little bit sooner on um, YouTube. I'm not sure. Um, we were thinking of adding some stuff to the end. We'll see um, on those exercises, but we'll see how much time we have today to add that in there. So again, um, if you want me to sing, I need 10 subscriptions to Prestige Labs, and that will uh, give us a good segue. If you're looking for something, Prestige Labs is one of our sponsors here on clearsky.training or clearsky-online. Right? The training site is our portal to exercise and Krav Maga technique. The Clear Sky hyphen online is all apparel and gear. Um, both of them you can get to our Prestige Lab supplement page where it is fantastic stuff. They make supplement a supplement line specifically for gym owners where um, they just cater to us. And you're not going to find it anywhere else. And if your gym is a Prestige Lab affiliate, you're going to get a discounted price off of their main site. So if you're on either one of those and you click the link, you're going to get over to our Prestige Labs um, affiliate, sync, uh, affiliate link. Um, it'll say refer.prestigelabs and that means that you are on our site and you are um, starting a subscription this month. I will sing whatever song Jamie wants. You got a, a song, Jamie, that you would make me sing? Yeah. I can do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Really, I, I got that really good because I do that in kids' class. Yeah. I'm also really good at, uh, what's that other one that I make fun of the kids for? The skipping around one? The tri uh, it's not Trot Trot to Boston. Oh, Skip to My Lou. If you're gonna skip around in your fight stance, I'm pretty good at skip to my loo, my darling. All right, so start a subscription with Prestige Labs, one of our sponsors that really helps us out um, doing that, because when we're making this podcast, we are taking the time away from uh, the rest of the gym here and making videos for Clear Sky Training, so that is um, our online portal. Check it out for Prestige Labs. Uh, I really hope, you know, because I wanted to be a rock star, Jamie. Yeah. I did. Yeah, and if you can't say, uh, Jamie's like, you don't stand a chance. I'm, she's probably a little too far into the right. You think I could be a rock star? Absolutely. Shut up, Jamie. You're not. That's not getting you. You're just demoted. You're down from your black belt. You're just. I'm demoting you. I feel like you're trying to kiss my ass. Maybe. Maybe. You are. Tell me, like, you don't. You can't sing. I've never heard you sing. Before. I can't sing. I'm not saying. I'll sing after the podcast. Okay. I'll sing Zach Bryan. Okay. Or uh, Ryan Bingham. Two of my Old favorites. Dominion. Or Journey. Journey. Can you sing Old Dominion? Old Dominion? I can try. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Old Dominion. Oh, see, now Jamie's singing, so she's too far away from the mic. We, we need to mic her up over the deck. We were just thinking of doing that anyways. He's just micing her up. That's what Josh wanted to do so we can get some good bloopers. So we are on to my top ten workout songs again the link will be in the description um i'm gonna try we'll put that on youtube as well running that across um, i might do um, some visuals on this list if i have the time but it does take a little bit of time putting this podcast together and then doing the video aspect of it and add some cool graphics as much as i like it it's kind of a hobby of mine i love doing uh, graphic design and videos and all that stuff as a ton of you know there's a ton of stuff on uh, Clear Sky or Krav Maga hyphen online for our RMS DF stuff. There's actually a bunch of, somebody pinged me, oh, it was Dion, pinged me over the weekend. She's like, I thought I saw puzzles. I'm a puzzle freak. And I'm like, I'm a puzzle freak too. And then I think I made three more designs of uh, puzzles with some of our graphics um, on our site. So I haven't ordered one of those, but I really should. Um, I love doing puzzles in the winter. Um, so does my family. We like doing that. Brings me back to my Uncle Bill who had polio and was really not confined. I think I talked to him about on another podcast, but if you touched his puzzles, you are in trouble. So, number 10 is Iron Man, Black Sabbath. Fantastic song. Oh, wait a second. I skipped up. Sorry. I have just totally messed up. I skipped up. Sorry. The scrolling is still being bad. This one, <laughs> Ben, Coach Ben, uh, wants to put this on a security system. So when somebody broke in, this song hits when they come in. 
bodies by drowning pool got some fantastic lines in there let the bodies hit the floor great beat really uh amped up um that's the type of music i like to listen to not this foo-foo stuff occasionally i might be in the mood for that we've got a couple mixes here but if i'm gonna pick i am gonna pick um, some hard rock music uh, borderline uh, metal so sorry about that we skipped up gave you a sneak preview um, i was thinking i had ozzy up there a little bit higher um, on the list but i've put bodies because i think that one's a great one um, it's fantastic um, number nine is lose yourself by eminem great song um I'd almost want this higher, but it doesn't start off um, fast enough for me, but fantastic song. Once it gets going, about 30 seconds in, great song. Awesome, um, awesome lines in there. I love that song. And then we're back to my number eight, which would be Iron Man, the Black Sabbath version. 2012 remastered Iron Man fantastic love that song um, definitely starts off with that good beat not as hard as some other ones but once it gets going about 10 seconds in fantastic love to listen lift weights to this song great one also get you ready um, like starting a Krav Maga class with this one really good and it's also one of those great if you haven't done a workout where you do the um, you hit the heavy bag or do an exercise for the length of the song um, I had a great mix um, that I used to use for that one and of course depending on how I feel you know throw on one of those nine minute songs and make people hit the heavy bag for nine minutes or do burpees for nine minutes you guys know I love uh, doing both of those. So, number eight, Iron Man. Number seven. I was trying to remember the line. Um, I remember the house I was working on and building. We're doing a historic remodel. It was actually the uh, old sheriff's house on Nantucket Island. Actually, the jail was uh, downstairs. The place was haunted. Um, but I remember the day this guy killed himself and what a guy now my age said about him i can't remember if he called the jackass or what a dumbass i forget what billy andrews um one of my uh role models and guy um i learned a ton from uh doing finnish carpentry with on nantucket island um had some great stories about billy um we used to take his boat over to cape cod we talked my father into who's our who was our boss if we could uh take off early on friday and you know go to the vineyard or go to cape cod and go uh do something but i remember one time that uh we were going we had gotten lunch we we're maybe buying some tools or who knows what just kind of playing hooky from work and there was a mattress sale and i really needed a new mattress and i was like Whoa, I'm gonna can I get that mattress and you know shipping was a ton on Nantucket um, It was really tough. You know, you'd have to take your pickup truck over or pay a ton for the freight of stuff like that And I was like Billy can I if I get that mattress can I put it in your boat and he's like no You're not putting in my sport fishing boat. I'm not pulling into the harbor with a freaking mattress and box spring on my fishing boat He's not I'm like, come on if I can do it so somehow I convinced him if I could, he's like, I don't know how you're getting it there. And I was like, I don't either, but let me try. So I went in the mattress store, I said, I wanna buy it, but I need, will you guys bring it to the dock? And they were like, our truck is in Provincetown. It's not gonna be back. So I'm not gonna be able to make it. And uh, I go out in the street and there's happens to be a pickup truck coming by, I kind of fly like wave at him happens to be uh, off duty. Actually, he wasn't off duty. He was going on duty. So he's like, um, I think he was a high end port police officer, Barnstable PD. Um, I can't remember which one. And he's like, what do you need? He kind of thought I needed some help um, being a protector type of guy, seeing a guy on the side of the road flagging a truck down. He stops and I said, hey, you want to make some money? I need to get a mattress and box spring. 
uh, over the wharf, and he said, "I got to be on. I got to be to work. You know how much? Yada yada. Um, it's a brand new pickup truck. You can't scratch the bed of my pickup truck." So once I convinced him, I'm like, "Come on, man. It's a mattress. It's a pickup truck. Come on, help me out." Um, so I'm down at the wharf when Billy and my father um, come down with a mattress and box spring, and he was he was pretty pissed off at me. I think the whole time he told me he was gonna drop me off. Um, uh, at Jetty's Beach, and I was gonna have to figure it out from there. But he wasn't pulling into the harbor with a box spring and mattress. But Billy, being an awesome guy that he was, he uh, he did pull in there. Um, he was pretty mad at me. I'm sure I had to buy him coffee or something for a couple weeks for doing that. But this guy killed himself. Um, tragic. There's just so many um, artists that kind of seem to off themselves or OD, which I think is kind of the same thing. Um, you know, we won't get into that whole side of um, people and the depression and singers and just trying to express themselves. But Smells Like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. Love Nirvana. Fantastic song. Great one. Is my number seven. Number six, Kickstart My Heart. Fantastic song. Love it. By Motley Crue. Um, brings me back to the bus going to football games one uh, Jason Richards I think he used to play this song all the time Dennis Parks um, you know and of course that would uh, annoy all the rap guys that like the rap music but we did try to mix it up we were a tight team but Motley Crue is my number seven oops sorry Motley Crue is number six here Sorry about that. Um, and as always, I like to make fun of Josh somewhere in here to make sure he's actually doing his job as producer and listening to the podcast. Correct, Jamie? Correct. All right, especially he was making fun of you yesterday. He was trying to leave her mic'd up and send her to the bathroom. Josh. Um, so, Josh, are you listening? No, he's not listening. Okay. Um, let me know what you guys want. Uh, feedback in the gym or comments or email john at rmsdf.com um, for any uh, show ideas. Um, I am thinking of doing um, things that drive me crazy um, out there in the exercise and martial arts world. As another podcast, before Josh tries to come up with an idea, I think his last idea was, how about you talk about diets? And I'm like, diets are stupid, Josh. They're dumb. Stop. I'm not doing that. Just eat like an adult. Eat good, clean food. You don't need to eat a ton. Intermittent fasting is fantastic, but I feel like people overeat all the time and people are looking for the easy button. There is no easy button. You gotta be dedicated. You gotta be disciplined. You gotta just make the decisions that you know are the correct ones versus getting caught up into the sugar-coated lies, as Jocko likes to say. Um, so I'm not going to do a podcast on diets. I might talk about, you know, how you can just be an adult and make good decisions, but slow and steadily and some tips that way. But I'm not going to talk about my favorite diets because I think you just need to eat clean food, um, make good decisions and stay away from the soda and every other thing that says zero calories. That is some fake ass food. You don't need it. Um, your body's going to treat it just like sugar. I don't care what the label says. Uh, it's a load of crap. It's a bunch of crap garbage process that you're putting into your body. All right. We are on to the top five. Fantastic song. Metallica, Master of Puppets. One of my all-time favorites. Love this song. Love it. Spotify is still being weird on my end for some reason. But fantastic song. Love uh, Metallica. They are on this list a couple times. Love them. Number four is Back in Black by ACDC. Another great lifting song. All-time favorite. Love Back in Black. That's a fantastic album. I could listen to that over and over again. Love it. Sorry, Spotify. Again, they're not going to be pissed off at me. Is being weird, but it's really not Spotify. I'm pretty sure it is our internet. But this song is great. Starts off, the guitar is fantastic in this song. 
You like Master of Puppets, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah, Jamie likes it. It's got Jamie's approval for the top five, maybe. Would you put it in your top five, Jamie? Yep. Yeah. All right, Jamie would put it in there. We got to mic her up over there. She is across the office in here, hard at work as usual. Unlike Josh, what's he doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. He is supposed to be doing something for Arc Electric. Fantastic company if you need electrical work. Arc Electric here in the Castle Rock. They are out based out of Elizabeth, Bill Anderson, one of our coaches. His business, fantastic. He's uh, doing some social media for them. So, Master of Puppets was number five. Number four is Back in Black by ACDC. Number three is Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Gotta love the way this song starts off. Love Ozzy, fantastic. I can't believe he's still alive. Great song. Great to listen to a headset, actually, if I put both of them on, even better. The stereo on this song is great. Love it. Makes me want to go back down and work out again today. Listening to Crazy Train. Does that meet your approval, Jamie, for number three? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ozzy is fantastic. Um, love uh, <laughs> love his music. Um, used to like watching that crazy show that he did. Um, I still can't believe he's still alive. Um, but that was uh, pretty funny. Um, back there, I think it was MTV Head had it you remember I can't even remember the name of the show but I'm sure it was something um, Ozzy number two is seek and destroy by Metallica again just coming up again Metallica fantastic I love them great music seek and destroy kill them all fantastic album there's a bunch of good stuff on that album love it love it uh, if you haven't heard it, you should listen to it, Julie. Instead of that Sally music that you're listening to, you've got to listen to stuff like that. Your husband, Tom, likes at 9.30. My 9.30 fitness class sometimes doesn't like me. Um, I try to mix it up. I try to mix it up, but they, they tend to like a little bit more poppy music. And some of that is good. I like it, but it, generally speaking, doesn't get me going and ready for a hard workout. So Metallica, I mean, just throw in any Metallica album, and uh, I think it's fantastic to, especially lift to, maybe not the high energy for some um, cross-training workouts that will do, but it's a great one. Metallica, Kill 'Em All, fantastic album. Actually, they just had, um, I think, a new song or, or two released. Um, I saw that on Spotify. Um, I didn't like them. I'm sorry. I really was like psyched that I could maybe uh, have something else for my workout play mix, but I didn't really like either song that came up, so I'm sorry. I just like uh, old Metallica. I think their stuff back then was just awesome. Oh, fantastic stuff. All right. Number one. Number one is, we'll hold off a quick second, add some TV anticipation for that. So I really want you guys to let me know um, what you'd like to hear next in the podcast, things to talk about. Um, I know some people are listening to some back ones and talking about intermittent fasting. Um, if you're doing that, I'm always here. It is hard. It is hard. You know, you're so used to and accustomed to eating all the time. And I always say Primal Man was not eating all the time. It wasn't just food at the ready in your refrigerator or in your pantry you'll be fine you'll be fine drink some more water or have an espresso you'll be great um, it's all you know that comfort we're just so used to it um, get into a cold plunge that'll make you better um, there's some fat uh, we'd like to talk about maybe uh, Huberman's um, he's got a great podcast on that um, and get a little bit more into in depth maybe um, if we had the time um, inserting some uh, clips of him talking because nobody says it better than the man himself, Andrew Huberman. He's got a fantastic podcast, but I know some people just want the facts um, and it, it does get in depth. And that's what I try to do for our members here is just give you a little taste of like, nobody's going to want to hear it, but 
you know, drinking alcohol more than two drinks a week is just not beneficial. Um, that's going to have negative effects on you as much as you like to think uh, a glass of wine is healthy every day. It is not. Um, it's kind of like you want fries with that. The wine industry is like, it's good. It's healthy. Um, it is not. So let me know what you'd like to hear next. We are still working on John Whitman, my instructor, and some other guests to come on here. We've got to talk to Josh again and Jamie and talk about their journey through um, the gym and their progress and the ups and downs because it's never easy. I know it's tough for me to, to stay on track. I am not uh, a superman. I battle, um, I think I said to my wife when we were watching the playoffs here um, last week, that I'm like, oh, I could go for a pizza. And I'm usually talking, I'm talking about a cauliflower pizza, but still too much cheese. Um, I try to not do that much of it. But well, you know, sometimes you're, it's a lazy, you're like it was a super cold uh, weekend here in Colorado and you just wanna eat comfort food and make you feel better. But you know, it really doesn't in the long run. It's just a quick fix, like so many other things out there. Go for the hard fix. Do the hard things, it'll make you better. So, any guesses on my number one song? What are you guys thinking out there? Those of you that think you know me, what do you think is my favorite song? They've been on before. So many things that are still not on this list. Jamie, you got any guesses since you are live with me here in the studio? We're in the studio slash our loft oh. office. Huh, she does not know. Oh, no. If you She's guess it, one. if you guess it, I'll demote Josh. Demote him? Yeah. From what? Well, we made him uh, program manager yesterday. I don't know why. Because he's calling people and trying to set appointments. That's the name I of the job. I do that too. Well, you're the manager. You're over him. You're the manager. You're over the program director. I know, I call people too, and I'm the owner. Maybe I'm not gonna call Josh, people. Josh, she controls you. Actually, he's not an employee. He's just a subcontractor. I'm not gonna tell you. They've, they've been on. I don't know what's going on with my internet today, but it was working perfect before the podcast, and now it doesn't wanna scroll. My wife would say I have too many windows open, but that's my brain for different uh, facets of the gym and my life are all my windows. I use those little uh, tabby guys, I don't know, that uh, is in Google, but I use Brave in there. You don't have any guesses? Mm. I'm old, so it's not a new song. That's a good one that could have been on there. I was like, I have a list of, uh, of, of one of my, it's uh, my Clear Sky playlist. Maybe we'll throw it into the uh, show notes. Um, it has like 10 Metallica songs in a row. So hopefully you hit shuffle. But when I'm making a playlist, I'm like that Metallica, that Metallica, that Metallica. Danger Zone. Danger Zone, you're freaking fired. <laughs> Danger Zone. Oh my God. Gosh. They actually did a rock cover of it. I don't know who did it, but they did. Really? Mm -hmm. There's a rock. Well, too bad we can't play it and not get dinged uh, for mm -hmm. copyright, especially on YouTube. I'm not really sure. I did hear Spotify will let you um, insert songs in your podcast. I got something on the uh, podcast producer side um, that you could do that. But I'm like, I don't think that's going to work with Apple. So now you're just making. Uh, a whole uh, podcast just for Spotify. I don't want to exclude anybody with an Apple phone like you. So Jamie doesn't got it. You guys have waited long enough. Um, we should throw it out there. We could make it a contest and uh, save it to next week and see if somebody guesses. First person to guess. Well, then I can't. Then we can't release the. We can't release the. Uh, the Spotify playlist because it's on there. I'd have to, re I guess I'd have to remove it. 
I guess I could remove it, but then it's gonna make Metallica seek and destroy number one on there. Ah. I could put skip to my Lou, my darling. What do you think, Jamie? Make it a contest? Yes. All right, Jamie says make it a contest. So I'm gonna remove this song before we release this out there. So I need you to send an email to John at RMSDF dot com that's john j-o-h-n at r m s d f roger mary sam david frank dot com or you can text the gym number which is 720-504-5959 again the gym SMS line or what our main uh, phone line for leads is what I'm using. It's not the staff one. It's not going to go to Jamie. We're not putting her in charge of this. It's going to uh, my Google Voice line 720-504-5959. First person and it'll be time stamped on both of those. First person to get it gets a t-shirt from either the clear sky hyphen online dot com store or our store for rmsdf gear krav maga hyphen online dot com and i have no idea why i started with krav maga hyphen online it really should be rmsdf hyphen online dot com because that store is kind of morphed into a whole lot more than krav maga it is really the gym store um, but too much of a hassle to change the name at least lately here so you want a t-shirt of your choosing from Clear Sky or Krav Maga, we will give you that first person to do it and we will let you guys know the winner and the song next week. So if you need self-defense lessons, if you're in the Douglas County area, Rocky Mountain Self-Defense and Fitness, we are here to help you, the beginner, get better, learn how to defend yourself or get in shape with our project fit class it, they are both beginner friendly you can do it absolutely share this uh, podcast with a friend we've got a ton of stuff out there on social media so that'll really help support the podcast and us doing things like that if you guys are sending members our way into rocky mountain self-defense and fitness we have kids classes starting at three and a half and going all the way up um, I would love to see uh, somebody top our oldest student of 85. Um, absolutely fantastic um, seeing people learning and defending themselves. Everything is scalable and doable to your fitness level. We're not going to exclude anybody from learning um, in there. Of course, our Krav Maga program will get harder. Our Project Fit can scale up. The better shape you get in, the harder we can make, uh, make the workouts. But we're not um, a type of gym that's saying you're too old or hey, you have to be in competition shape, you have to be doing stuff. Anybody can learn self-defense and build at their level. Um, it should be doable, should be attainable um, for everybody to start off and at least get into those beginner zones. And it's surprising at how many people actually get advanced just out of pure consistency and dedication and everything else that we say here, you gotta be dedicated, you gotta be disciplined, you gotta be resilient. There's gonna be things that come up that just make your training hard and you gotta be relentless. You just gotta get back on it. You get a little off track, you gotta get back onto it. That's just the way it is. Um, things in life are gonna get in the way and sometimes, yeah, it's a grind. Like getting to black belt, we're not just uh, handing them out here. You've got to be a black belt in those techniques. The, the skill level in our Krav Maga program. So yeah, you're gonna drill things and do it over and over again because you don't have the opportunity to think. Um, it's actually uh, one of my pet peeves in martial arts. Um, there's just so many martial artists out there that go from discipline to disciplined, um, learning another one and another one, and they never really master anything. They might have a little bit of knowledge that you can recall um, when you're thinking about a technique or somebody's talking to you about it and you're in a classroom setting, can you do it live? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Like we were just doing an honesty drill in my class this afternoon. It's nothing like, you know, keeping you honest because if you know what's coming, 
you know, you should have stayed home on your couch if you knew somebody was going to put you uh, in a rear naked choke or hold you at gunpoint. So send your friends into Rocky Mountain Self-Defense and Fitness. They are here to help everybody. It really does help us out, guys. Um, if you listen to this uh, this far, I totally appreciate you um, listening and tuning in every week, every Thursday. This is John Hallett with the John Hallett Podcast. I am out of here. Jamie's in the background. She's out. She, she, you're out? She's out. She says, see you guys. See you in class soon. Um, and as always, you know, let Josh know um, how much you appreciate him by sharing that stuff out on social media. Um, it's all great for our analytics that he's taken care of for us. So he does a great job. I do make fun of him, but I only make fun of him because I like him. Um, he is a lowly white belt. He was watching all my black belt videos that are private on YouTube. Um, he was watching them like a total newbie. Like, let me watch the experience stuff. I'm like, you should be watching the Krav Maga 101 nose over toes rule. Watch those other things. That'll get you to black belt. But, you know, just kind of teasing, Josh. Just kind of teasing. All right, guys. I am out for another week. I will see you guys in class or message me if you uh, need some more help out there. You're in uh, the Krav Maga world and want mentoring. I am here to help you.